Hello and welcome to the Tea Cray Pup channel. In this video, I'm going to attempt to show you how I prepared a customer wig, my very first customer wig. If you would like to see how I did this, then please keep watching. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you the hair uh, before. I've already cut it. I'm going to have a video coming out pretty soon about how I cut the hair. And right here I'm just showing you um, the highlights that I did on the hair. So I didn't think to record it for some reason. So I'm um, sorry I missed out on y'all missed out on that. So um, right here, this is what the hair is looking like um, before I go ahead and color it. And so uh, just giving you up close um, view of what it's looking like. So it's pretty much like a raw under underlying pigment hair color. It's very uneven. You can see a bit of orange here, a little bit of yellow there, a little bit of gold here. So it's just all over the place. I'm just giving you um, a view of what um, I can see. So it just needs, I just need to tone the hair to make sure it's like an even um, tone throughout. I'm going to have to consider that I'm going to have a dark root. And um, this particular client asks for an ash blonde hair color. So uh, I'm going to try to use a couple of things to try to figure out what can I do to cancel like the, at least as much of the warmth that I could um, remove or cancel. So right here, I'm just using an old water bottle and I'm going to use the cap as a measuring tool. Now the particular color brand that I'm using, which is Color Charm, their ratio is one part color to two parts developer. So I'm gonna use one cap full of color and two cap fulls of developer. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna discuss the inherent problems when lifting this particular uh, virgin type of hair. I'm not sure if anybody's ever noticed, but it does have this orange urine piss tone when you try to lift uh, virgin hair and if I'm trying to do ash I need to eliminate it as best as I can which is very difficult in my opinion when doing um, weave and stuff like that I'm not sure if it's the same when it comes to raw virgin hair or should I say raw hair but I know it's very difficult to remove the orange out of just virgin hair so um, then by and let's see what we can do about correcting this okay since I'm trying to eliminate the orange red piss tone that comes in virgin hair I'm gonna go in with ash so right here I'm gonna use 8a and 9a I'm not exactly sure which one I want to use with a 4 neutral for the dark base in a volume 10 because it's deposit only right here I'm just showing you what the hair looks like on one side I'm gonna put um, I want to say this is 9 a nine ash you know on the other side is going to be eight ash and then what I'm going to do for the root which will be a uh, four neutral so we're just going to take a look at this strand test and determine which do we like better Okay, so here are the results of the strand test. Uh, I have it next to the untreated hair so you can see the color difference. So you can see that the untreated hair is um, lighter in tone, whereas the other side is darker and um, hopefully it's not as red or orange. So right here I'm just giving you a close-up so you can take an even better view of what I'm seeing. Um, 
It sure did cancel out the orange tone, but we can go a little bit deeper. Okay, so up next I decided to use two formulas, uh, 4A Ash and 3N Neutral on the roots, and 8N and double, uh, 7 double A double Ash to cancel out most of the warmth. So right here I'm applying the three, the darker shade at the root and the lighter shades half and half mixture at the ends. And we're gonna see what that looks like and see if we like the results during this strand test. Okay, so here are our results. Um, when I use a double ash, uh, I feel like it canceled out more of the the red. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. It has more of a a muted tone. It's not as sunny, bright, orangey color as before. So uh, right here, you can see the difference and determine for yourself. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so right here, I'm just doing our Desire Tone um, that we had did our strand test, and we determined that we liked better than the other. And I'm just applying that. So uh, as, you, as you can see here, uh, I think it was an 8N eight, eight and 7AA on the mid links and ends. And then I go with the with the 4A and 3N at the roots, and I'm gonna try to smudge the two colors together so I can get a nice even blend, uh, making sure I get every strand colored. And again, all of this is done with a volume 10 because all I need is deposit. So you just check that out, and I'll come back with further commentary.
Okay, so right here I made my way up to the top where actual lace is and I'm going to try to drag that um, 3N and 4A, if I'm not mistaken, um, a little bit lower. I'm taking my comb and applying the color to the comb and combing it through so I won't stain the lace. And then I'm going to try to drag that down as far as I can and just do the ends with the lighter shade. So if you ever tried this at home, you can um, just pretty much mimic what I'm doing here. Okay, so we made our way up to the front. I'm gonna do the same thing. I put a lighter shade, the lighter shade, on the ends at first and work that through as best as I can and then go in with the roots with the darker shade and try to comb it in. Try not to touch the lace at the same time. So um, that's what you see me doing here. Okay, so here is the look while it's being processed. Uh, the strand test, as you can see, is that braid you see at the very bottom. So it's processing right now. Again, I'm gonna show you the before uh, we began, what the color looked like. And up next, I'm gonna show you once it's been toned. And then I'm gonna show you a final look on the mannequin head. And so I did these pictures, or this video, this particular video, and I put it on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, I even showed the client, and she was very pleased with what it looked, uh, what it looked like. Uh, well, just let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.